Hey guys and gals, it's Steve from Tweak Town here with you today. I am the motherboard editor, and yesterday I got in the MSI X99 godlike motherboard. And this motherboard actually is kind of godlike. It has some pretty cool features. One of them is the ability to have RGB LEDs, which can change any color they want to be. And there's an app on the phone. It's actually the MSI app. Uh, I got from the Android store, no problem. And it has a bunch of different features. You can control the colors right here, this little turntable. And you got to keep in mind that um, this connects through Bluetooth, but not through the killer Bluetooth that's advertised. It has a secondary Bluetooth chip in the board in a specialized MPCIe slot only for that. And I was really surprised to find that because uh, it's kind of covered by the shield and you can't really see it, but that's specific dedicated circuitry just for changing the colors. Now that's not the cool part. What I really made this video is to show these modes. So these are the modes, right? We have flashing, pulsing, wave, random, all these goodies. But let's take a look at flashing. Pretty cool, huh? Like electrons pulsating in different regions of the board. Um, then we have stack. This is another one of my favorites. Kind of stacks it like Tetris from the bottom up. I thought this was pretty cool mode. That's random, and then this is random. It just does random. And there's a rainbow, of course. Yep, you gotta have rainbow in there. And then shining, which is just pretty, basically a steady maximum output red. Gaming is red pulsating in and out, in and out, really slowly. And then breathing is basically gaming, but it changes colors after it pulsates in and out. Yep, and then it'll go to yellow and then on its way. Wave, so the color changes from the bottom up all the way. I thought that was pretty cool. And you can always turn it off. Off. Yeah, yeah I think a lot of people like off. No, but a lot of people might also not like off. I actually am going to keep it going, maybe flashing. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, and uh, oh, you can put it to music. Uh, you go in the music finder and it's all there. It works pretty well, actually. Um, but I don't really know if it's going to the beat of music. I haven't spent that much time observing it. But it's pretty cool. And the app works really well. And I haven't had any problems and it uses Bluetooth. Uh, but it also doesn't really have any authentication. There's no software to control it, which might be a good thing since it would take less resources to run. Um, anyways, yeah. So read my review and hear what I think about the rest of the board. Thanks.